Hey guys, this is Marjena again and today another water workout part one. All of those exercises that I'm going to present today are done against the wall of the pool. You're going to need no equipment. Those dumbbells are for decoration only. You're going to need 25 minutes to complete part one. And then if you're going to fall in love with those moves, click the next video. Part two will be as challenging and as great as this one. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family, like it and subscribe to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you check all the playlists and pick your best and favorite workouts on land, in a water, something you can do at home, or absolutely anywhere. It's not just about water, there's Pilates, cardio intervals, all of it. So make sure you explore, save your favorites, and be active. I'll be happy to show you unusual ways to incorporate everyday stuff like water bottles or just your body weight to create very effective workouts. No, you don't need to have home gym. You just need a little bit of time and some energy. If you enjoy my videos, make sure you like them and share with your friends. That helps my channel to grow. And thank you so much for doing that. If you want to be notified about the new video, click notification bell. Let's begin with warm up. I'm going to work out today at chest water level and we're going to begin with aqua jogging, high knees. No equipment. Let's just move arms forward and back, turning those wrists around and warming up those muscles that are there. During jogging, you want to make sure your toes are touching the bottom of the pool first and then you're going to roll your foot and bring your heel down. Pull your belly in, straight up your back and go. We'll begin with V jumps. You're going to push your feet against the wall four times, just like so. And at the same time, you'll be pushing your palms back. So if there was another wall behind you, you push your palms back to the wall. Then we'll have cross-country skiing eight times. You'll be able to see all those exercises thanks to my underwater camera. So make sure you see how it's supposed to be done before you do it. So we have four V jumps and then cross-country skiing without knees moving up and down. Instead, you'll be just pushing your feet forward. So here's four and three and two, and you want to exhale as your feet are touching the wall, then you'll be pushing one toe back because you want to get ready for the cross country without stopping. You want the transition to be very smooth. Keep going. Now in today's workout, we'll have a little bit more time for each of those exercise. Time is not that important and tempo is not important. You just want to make sure you're doing those moves right and also that they seem to be challenging. As you know, water can give you amazing exercise as long as you are using it to make every move more challenging, not, not easier. So you keep pushing it and you exhale. And this is one of the best abdominal exercise in a water, by the way. Cross country is a total body workout. Oh yes, I know you're feeling it. So what's great about this workout is that you need no equipment. And really, you could do most of the moves even without the wall, but with the wall, you kind of gonna bounce your feet faster and it's gonna be better workout. Let me mention that you could use aqua gloves for this workout. It's optional, 
but it will definitely uh, challenge your upper body a little more. I don't recommend using dumbbells because they will slow you down a little bit too much. Let's keep going. V jumps, pushing those feet on the wall. Notice those feet are wider than shoulders once they touch the wall. And then cross country skiing. Stay in line, no rotation, belly in. It's a good tempo. Avoid leaning forward too much. You want your shoulders to, to be square with your hips for both of those exercises, as much as possible, of course. Keep your palms facing back. And again, use the surrounding water to make it more challenging. Remember to breathe out through your mouth, in to your nose. We are almost done with those two exercises. There's gonna be something different every few minutes, so I promise you will not get bored. Can you get bored when you work out in the water? I don't think so. And if you need to stop for a quick water break, this would be a great moment. I'm gonna now show you cross-country skiing sideways, feet against the wall, and then we're gonna add aqua jacks four times. So we're gonna have four and four this time. Easier to remember, how's that? Let's do it. So as before, we want pretty good tempo, and I wanna remind you that again, using dumbbells will not work in here. Gloves, fine. So we'll have jumping jacks four times with arms pushing water forward and then backwards and then we're gonna push our feet to the other side like this with toes facing right and then again jumping jacks arms facing each other working chest and back pretty good consistent tempo and here we go left side cross country skiing you want those feet pretty high up on the wall. Maybe halfway up, maybe a little closer to the bottom. It's really all up to you and up to your core strength, how high you can maintain the position, but you can uh, definitely feel how this affects your abs, right? They, they work so amazingly in here. Every now and then you want to remind yourself, yes, you want to strengthen your abs with this exercise, but your upper body wants to take a lot out of it too. So once you down with your feet on the bottom, really see that this water flows, right? You push it forward, you push it behind, you really strengthen your chest and your back. It's really important that from every exercise, we try to take the most. Keep track on which side you did, then drop those jacks, switch the other one. You obviously want to do the same number of reps on your right and left. Could we do more than four? We could, but once you do it in a water, you'll see that it's quite challenging to uh, work your arms so fast and do even four. So after four, your legs start to sink and it's just not gonna look the same. I think four is just a perfect number to be challenged, but then to maintain the same level. Pull your belly in, you're working your core, stay nice and tall. Look at my arms. There are very, very small but consistent moves that keeps my feet, they help me to keep my feet and my hips at that level. All right, if you can come up with any different arm moves, palm moves, that's fine. All that matters is that you are able to complete that cross country skiing motion.
Remember to breathe. It's a challenging exercise and it's quite common that we forget about breathing. Yet, it's important, you know why. And done with this one too. All right, well, as much as I loved it, it's time to try something different. Now you're gonna push your feet forward to the wall, jump out on a wall, then jump down. And you're gonna repeat this exercise eight times. Then, aqua sprint is back in the house. Now here we can do more of those reps. So obviously you could do four, but you can easily do eight and your arms won't be that challenged, right? And that tired. You can still maintain pretty good levels. And aqua sprint must be tough, all right? So here it's all about speed. You wanna move the hard way up. Give yourself anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. And again, back to jumps. Wall, jump out, jump down. So first, your feet are hip width apart, then way wider than shoulders. It's like a V jump, really, and then jump down. And when you jump down, again, push those feet down fast, okay? Don't just wait for them to fall down. I want you to be in a full control of that speed. This is how not only you're getting a great up workout with your feet moving up here, but here on your way down, you work your hamstrings and your glutes. And again, you need to be in control of that tempo to feel it. Aqua sprint, punch forward, move fast. Love blending those two moves, they're very different. They're giving you an awesome workout. Notice my feet are at the same level with both jumps here and here and only then jump down. So you don't want that second jump to fall lower on a wall. Maintaining level, remember, that's how you are using your hands. And again, it's up to you. You can do eight or four. Just make sure that aqua sprint is a real sprint, okay? It takes in only 15 seconds when you do aqua sprint correctly to move the heart rate up and really feel the challenge. Check on your breath, make sure you continue exhaling with the jump. Aqua sprint, let's go, let's go, let's go. Burn those calories. Now we're just gonna push our feet against the wall and you can do as many as 30 of those, right? Just to make sure our abs get enough of the workout. Keep pushing your palms back now. Almost like there was a wall behind you and you wanna push your palms back to the wall and feet to the front wall at the same moment. You can clearly see here. Yeah, so it's your arms are not helping you to float anymore. They help you to push your feet against the wall faster with more of the energy. This is how you are targeting your back, but also you make it better for your abs. Maintain great level and good speed. Keep going. Once you finish, you are back to jumping out again or add even more V jumps. You can alternate those two, those two, you can be creative. You're still working the same muscle groups. And remind yourself all the time, I'm in control of this tempo. I wanna do max number of reps. And at no point you are relaxing yourself in that floating position. I know, it feels good and it's easy. <laughs> Guys, this is a perfect moment for quick water break. We are already halfway through. Next one is my favorite. We're gonna do corkscrew wall jumps and we're gonna alternate right and left side and then we're gonna do twist. Now this is twist, it's light and easy, but hold on, remember, your abs must be engaged because there is a slight spine rotation here and you wanna keep that spine safe. So this is corkscrew. You once push your feet to the wall sideways to the right, 
then to the left. Now with your hands, you can do again really anything, but you can create like a circle movement forward, out, and then in towards your hips, whatever works for you. The circle movement definitely works for me. And again, it feels good to do something for arms. Corkscrew jumps, you can do four times, but you can do eight. With twist, same thing. I'm doing eight. Uh, twists are easy. It's just a fun transition from doing corkscrew again. So let's do it. Constantly remember yourself, you are working your core most. So you keep it engaged before you actually do the movement. Control your breath. Inhale into the nose and exhale out to your mouth. Make sure both of those wall jumps are again hitting the same, not necessary spot, but you go to the same level. Every time you have to touch the wall. And once it could be done without touching the wall, you are not getting the same. Because just the fact you're gonna, your feet are bouncing back from the wall are giving you that energy that you need for another jump. So trust me on that, you're doing better if you actually are touching the wall every single time. This exercise also could be done with ankle weights or with gloves, but not with dumbbells. The version with ankle weights will be posted on my channel both, and this is my absolute favorite. But let's firstly get used to this one, because this one also is quite tough. Keep going, maintain smooth transitions between one move and the other one. Don't stop, just keep the flow going. Now, something different. We're gonna do sideways wall jumps in and out, just like this. So it's not cross country anymore. You push your feet to the wall sideways, then jump out and then jump down. Again, definitely one of my favorite moves and it's here mixed with side to side kicks now those kicks are supposed to move your heart rate up just push your arms to the other side that your kick goes give them a little break you can do 16 kicks you can do just eight however you want to mix it and when you're ready back to jumps again turn your feet sideways firstly they are hip width apart and then way wider than shoulder width apart. It's almost like you do a jumping jack on the wall. You just turn your body sideways. Quite a challenge. And what are we loving in this channel? We love channel. If you are still watching it, I know you do. I am very curious if you're gonna like those ideas. And if you do, or even if you don't, let me know in the comments. I really would love to know. I already work on other uh, workouts involving those moves, so it would be great to know. You're gonna enjoy my future videos. Now I know some of you are making notes and do those exercises at the pool. If you come up with better names for those moves go ahead and use yours or even let me know i just you know try to be creative try to make it uh, more visual so we are so it's easier for us to remember how the movement looks so you know corkscrew sounded pretty cool <laughs> Keep going, remember your feet are together, hip width apart or and then wider, up on the wall. We are super humans in the water, you know that. Make sure those kicks are tough, kick it, flex your foot, put a lot of energy to each kick. 
maintain the same level. And remember, smooth transitions between one exercise and the other one. You don't want to just stop one, fix your hair, and then do another one. You keep going, okay? Each segment is a little longer or shorter than the other one, but once you're in that segment, mix them all together like it's one challenging routine. Keep going, we just have a few more reps to do and we're gonna complete this segment. I'm excited to show you more today. Then I want you to decide if you wanna repeat everything one more time and have this amazing one hour workout or do you wanna mix it with something else? I will have part two coming one week after I post this video and then you can of course mix it with part two, but you can add any other of your favorite workouts. Keep going, last couple moves. Your best energy needed right here, right now. Now we're gonna do corkscrew 12 times very, very fast. So you skip that jump out, you just push your feet to the right, sideways to the left. Go for it. 12 reps, as fast as you can. Do it, do it, do it. Have fun. I love corkscrew. It must be faster than before. All right, and the next segment. We're gonna have fun alert, cross country skiing on a wall. This time we're gonna have toes pointed up. So a little different and again, lots of hard work for your arms. You're gonna again go with very, very fast arm motion and you push one foot forward, one a little closer to the bottom. Try do it eight times and then jumping jacks, just this time go ahead, move your hands back and then forward and mix it up. You can do eight jumping jacks and eight cross-country skiing. Now remember, put those two exercises together so it looks like one move. There are no breaks in between. Pull your belly in. Here we go. Fast arms and also fast legs. Get your toes as close to the top to the water surface as possible. It is a really tricky move for our abs. Not only that, one side must push your leg up, but the other one has to maintain the other one down. So it's both sides, right and left, do something very, very different. You want both of your feet touching the wall. So your hands not only have to keep you in that position, but they need to keep you close to the wall. Mm-hmm, super tricky. Each move looks identical. That's your goal, to start and finish at the same level. Don't even tell me you're tired now. We are close to an end anyways. Don't let your body sink. And if you want, you can obviously do more jacks or just go a little bit faster and move the hard way up. The goal of this workout is not that much uh, cardio. It's really great strengthening workout, great for core, great for upper body. But yeah, if you wanna add more, cardio segments, you can absolutely do so. Make sure again you stay close to the wall. You need to touch the wall with both of your feet. You'll notice that you start floating away 
closer to the end of each segment, around a seven, eighth rep, but do your best not to move away too far. All right, now I call this one X jump against the wall and we're gonna alternate right side, then left, and then I'll show you how to mix it. This one is also tricky. You kind of do one side of the X first, right here, jump down, and then you do the other one. You can obviously see it if you use your imagination how you would actually create that X shape eventually. And then we're gonna add cross-country skiing just because it's fun. Mm-hmm. Without knees being stuck. This is a short segment, but you already know you can do double of those reps and work out a little bit longer. So here we go. Right side, right foot up, left down, and look, this is a diagonal line. Mm-hmm. And then cross-country skiing eight times. Here we go. After each you need to jump down and again you are in control of that tempo you don't wait for your legs just flow down because that will happen but you're not gonna strengthen your body on your way down there right you want to strengthen your body no matter what you do make sure you also stay pretty close to the wall core extremely engaged and you breathe through it Try open those legs as much as possible. You want one toe to be pushed very close to the surface of the water and the other one staying very close to the bottom. It all depends on your strength and of course on your flexibility. Picking up a little bit more speed as soon as you kind of get everything under control, add your best tempo. You can repeat this many, many times if you want. I also want to show you another version of X jump. This is when you don't exit after the first part. So you're going to push your feet across and then you switch side and then you can do more or more or you can exit after full x so that's the first position you need to stay close to the wall here's the second position it is a little tricky especially if you want to put those x moves together mm -hmm. give it a try finish your workout with 30 more v jumps and call it a day or do part two. Guys, if you enjoy this video, make sure you like it. Share with your friends. This helps me so much to grow my channel. And once my channel grows, I promise I'm gonna deliver more and better workouts. I hope you had fun. Have a great day now, or I'll see you in a moment in part two. Bye now.